A new report into the Uvalde school shooting describes what's being called a systematic breakdown, highlighting how the safeguards designed to protect students failed. And newly released police body cam footage shows the chaos of that horrific day when 19 children and two teachers were killed. Jackson Prosco reports, and a warning, some of the images in this story are disturbing. Almost immediately, police came under fire as they rushed into Robb Elementary. My wife's bathroom. The moments that followed descended into a chaotic, uncoordinated response. Dude, we gotta get in there. We gotta get in there. He's keep shooting. We gotta get in there. Police spent more than an hour waiting for instructions as nearly 400 officers descended on the school. As bursts of gunfire erupted from a classroom, school district police chief Pete Arandondo even tried to negotiate with the suspect. Let me know if there's any kids in there or anything. This could be peaceful. Outside, other officers rushed to break windows and rescue students. Go, go, run, run over there. No one breached the classroom until it was too late. If you know there's active shooting, active killing going on, or somebody is dying, the standard is you have to continue to do something to stop that killing or stop that dialing. The first report into the massacre found officers put their own safety over that of the innocent victims. There was no clear leadership, no proper communication. They don't protect nothing. They're cowards. The school itself had issues too. Poor Wi-Fi delayed lockdown alerts. No one used the school intercom to communicate the threat. The police failed us. The school system failed us. Those failures costed our son his life. The report concludes most of the victims died within minutes, but some could have been saved if police had acted sooner. This devastating look at police actions has left families wondering if anyone will be held accountable for the failures of that day. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.